currently about 70% of city utilities electric distribution is overhead and 30% is underground. The underground construction is probably five to ten times more expensive than the overhead. In the event of an outage, overhead is going to be easier to find the problem. Troubleshooter can drive out the line looking for the problem and then possibly line crew can splice the line or sleeve the line rather than changing out the whole span. It's a little more flexible if the line has to move for any reason and generally transformers and equipment can be added without outages. The drawbacks for overhead, the biggest thing would be that it's susceptible to outages from either trees or wildlife. It can be a public safety concern with contractors and public working around the power lines. If there's a storm, lines can come down so the overhead portion is affected but still with underground, it may not be directly affected, but the overhead portion that feeds the underground is still affected. The biggest benefit to underground is that uh, aesthetically, the appearance, the line's invisible. People don't want to see how their service is being fed. Also the underground, and it's not directly affected by the uh, wildlife and vegetation contact on the line. Another benefit, it's concealed and it's not as accessible to be a public safety concern. In the event of an outage, it may be difficult for the troubleshooter to find the problem. Draw back to both overhead and underground construction. I mean, the poles get hit, but also ground mounted equipment is going to get hit. We hear a lot more that the poles are hit, but that's probably because there's more installed in the underground. The underground's in place near a roadway. They're going to be hit probably just as often, and they're probably going to take longer to repair. The process to convert overhead distribution to underground is difficult for several reasons. You've got to think about all the services to the homes and businesses in that span. All of that's got to be converted to underground. It's hard to find locations for those because we're also dealing with sidewalks, bike paths, and underground utilities. Ultimately, for an overhead to underground distribution conversion, we'd need to consider the cost and if it would be worth it to city utilities and our customers.